crucified for your sake, free you, may Christ who died for you deliver you from eternal death, may Christ the Son of the living God set you down the fresh beauty of his paradise, may he the good shepherd claim you as one of his flock, may he forgive your sins and grant you a place among the elect as own right hand, there may you ever behold your Redeemer face to face, and ever stand before him, enraptured by the beauty of truth itself, and placed in the ranks of blessed, may you delight in the vision of God forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we believe the ties of friendship and affection in us together to our lives do not unravel with death. Confident God <coughs> remembers the good we have done, forgives our sins, and let us pray, asking God to reject and magnify to himself. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, <coughs> you willingly gave yourself up to death, that all people might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in their grief, receive death in the arms of your mercy. You alone, the Holy One, your mercy itself, 
by dying you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive him his sins and grant him a place of happiness and peace in the King of your glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, we're going to have the gifts brought up now, uh, memories of Dexter's life, and so we're going to announce the gifts. Yeah, we're in, announce the gifts. Good blessing. <coughs> All the gifts. Jamie brings up a family photo representing Declan's devotion to his family as a husband, dad, son, and brother. Kieran brings a tractor which represents Declan's love for farming. Shay brings up a light bulb which represents Declan's hard work and dedication to his job. Liam and James bring up a football and his favourite club top, representing Declan's passion for GAA and the Ball and Lock Club. Seamus and Teresa bring the bread and wine for Declan's funeral mass today. Commune the Holy Spirit be with you all. An eternal rest grant to him, O Lord, let perpetual light shine on him. Our brothers and sisters, a gathering with sorrow, and welcome to Father Mark Mohan from Kadaki Believer, also to Father Mike Welch Ross and, and Father Sean Henry from the shop and a present Sean. They will get Father Sab to do a funeral which he had himself and if Sean, of course, married Declan and Mary, it's great that they would be here. So we'll join in prayer, we'll join in sorrow, and remember, remember a very good man. We ask God to forgive us our sins. We say, I confess, Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, <coughs> I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have failed to do and through my fault. Through my fault, read this fault. <coughs> Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, your virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, <coughs> forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Declan, whom you called to journey to you, and since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in his everlasting joys. 
We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the union of the Holy God forever and ever. Amen. And we have, we have the readings now, the readings. Yes, <coughs> yeah. Readings. First reading, reading from the Old Testament, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all people, and the shroud enwrapping all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, see, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord. You will cross the barren desert, but you shall not die the first. You will wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You will speak your words in foreign lands, and they will understand. You will see the face of God. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us all with Jesus and bring us with you and into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Even though our nature is wasting away, our inner nation is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if uh, the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. This is the word of the Lord.
that I should lose nothing of all that is given to me, that I should raise it up on the last day. Because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that is given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, <coughs> it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, I shall raise him up on the last day. This is the gospel of the Lord, <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ. Let me see you just for a few moments together, we'll come together, along there and people, <coughs> and, and <coughs> we're here in the presence of Jesus, and before Jesus left this earth, or left this world, or went back to God, he told his disciples that <coughs> he was going to prepare a place for them before his death. And today <coughs> we are praying that Jesus will prepare a, a, you know, a special place for Dr. McNamee. And, and, and this day we gather in, in prayer. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> when we think about the importance of the Mass, the most important thing of all on this earth. And, of course, the Mass, it, it takes us back to Calvary, <coughs> and uh, uh, Calvary, <coughs> and Jesus' last time on this earth, and uh, <coughs> it's, it's, uh, <coughs> it's, the Mass is, is not a representation of, of Calvary, it's not a representation, it's just, it's just a representa representation of Calvary in an unbloody manner. We gather here, and, <coughs> and so it's Jesus that we're remembering in Mass that all our salvation depends upon him. <coughs> no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. And <coughs> we remember Jesus. We remember his, his friends and remember people for whom Jesus died on a particular day, De De Declan. And <coughs> memories, of course, memory is such an important thing. And of course, people li live on in, the, in their families, <coughs> and they also, of course, live on in, in memories. And it's a great thing that people can have such good memories <coughs> of Dr. McNamee. Uh, everybody, everybody <coughs> nothing but the best to say about Declan. And he used the years of his short life in a very full way. And everyone said that. <coughs> I found him so obliging. So his prompt responses had a request to made him do things in the church or in the church of his gear or the house, like on the ball, very quick and was so, was so obliging. And, and he was so dedicated to his family, dedicated to people, dedicated to all that <coughs> we just, we, we, everyone was devastated, suffered such a great loss, uh, someone taken from this earth so suddenly and, <coughs> and left a great heartbreak for so many people. And, but uh, uh, we, Jesus left the earth too, I was 33, very young in one way, but having done, done so much. And as in the name of Jesus that we all gather here today, we got looking for consolation and we asked that the Blessed Mother who took down Jesus on the cross, we get grant great consolation to Mary and the family and they will succeed. Because we know, of course, that a very bright light has gone out. <coughs> but 
uh, <coughs> gone of course to, to, to the world to the world of light but also the, the Mary the family will keep the lights on and, uh, all the years <coughs> the uh, goodness doesn't disappear with people and they say of course since St. John Chrysostom said that those whom we love and, uh, who, and leave or those who, who leave and whom we love are never <coughs> Uh, so the far away are, 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 are they are never what where they were before, but <coughs> they are okay, where, where, where we are. They are now where, where we are, and we are we are here in the presence of God in the church, <coughs> praying for the souls the souls of the dead, different parishes suffer so much, and and uh, yes, <coughs> I think about so many difficult tragedies. Country that uh, and someone who <coughs> uh, has, has done so much good goes to God. Uh, certain maybe you think about, about a great sense of achievement, and they couldn't uh, achieve more in the short life. And was the lack of the deep lack, I suppose, but the Declan maybe lack me or deep lack, I suppose, electrical services uh, didn't come together without a lot of hard work and. We have to uh, commend, uh, compliment the Dexter on his great work and get a lovely house together. We hope that people are happy in that, in that house. Not a house where there wouldn't be any happiness. And pray, pray that the memories of, <coughs> of good things will, will last with, with, with the families. And, and memories are so important that they have to help people. And so Dexter lives on and the memories of people are such good memories that people will have of him. Everyone. So, uh, not much more than we can say at present except just to remember him in, in prayer and the importance of having Jesus with you in, in your life. <coughs> and <coughs> it was, there were people in the country and they were forgetting about their religion and not minding or bothering and maybe thinking that Sunday could be a day maybe for shopping and that. Of course, we all know that if the people don't, they don't have God on their side, God's protection during the lives, there won't be anything in the shops. So it's, it's Sunday, Sunday, and whatever people can, can do to keep the Lord's day holy, and maybe even before they go for training, that they may go and honor the Lord in the church and ask his blessing and protection. Because uh, eternal life is, is a long time, and, and people who try and do good in this earth are favored by the Lord. <coughs> the families will be well taken care of. Well, if you have the heavenly powers helping you, you'll be all right. So I thank the priest for joining this kind of celebration and ask God's blessing upon all the people who uh, are deeply uh, bereaved as well. And people coming here, they want to try and help or are anxious to help <coughs> in any way they can and offer them sympathy and consolation for one another. Everybody feels the sorrow. So we have the prayers of faith now, please. First fit, yeah, that's right. Let's be Declan showed much love for his others in his life. May he now experience the love and mercy of God. May he pray for us and help us from his heavenly home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for who all mourn Declan, especially his precious children, Jamie, Kieran, Shay, and Sophie, his wife Mary, his parents Seamus and Teresa, and his sister Kira. May Christ console and strengthen them and heal their wounds of grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, praise the Let us remember all those who have departed this life. We remember in a special way today today Declan's brothers, Shane and Damien, his cousins Patrick, Michael and Kieran, and his brother-in-law, Fergal. May God, God reunite them all in the happiness and peace of his heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, 
Over the years, Dad helped and assist many family, fr friends and neighbours when they were in darkness. Our Lord God help us now and this com community to comfort one another in our grief. Finding light in our time of darkness and help us to support each other. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace in our world, that all the people may live free from violence, in safety and security, and with hope for the future. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, who said, through this present life, so as to open up an entry into eternity, we humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy, you may command the name of your servant, Declan McElmey, to be inscribed in the Book of Life. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Hello. Sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God the Almighty Father. Lord, accept our hands, praise the Lord His name, for our good, the good of all His church. And as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Declan, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Saviour may find in him a merciful judge through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to our God. Thanks, <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for it is at your summons that we come to birth, by your will that we are governed, at your command that we return to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, and the highest, blessed is the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, 
which we offer personally for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard the night and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, the Holy Father, our Pope, our Bishop, St. Michael, and all those who in truth hand on the Catholic historic faith. So, thank you. Remember, Lord. Remember, Lord, all those who, have, who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers in all things be defended by your protective help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock that you have chosen to Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so it may come for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands <coughs> with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and give us disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended with his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, <clears throat> once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing, gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. Save us, <coughs> Saviour of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, Lord's ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, your holy people, offer your glorious majesty, from the gift that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, which has everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel of dust, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father of faith, you offer your high priest because the Holy Sacrament is about to speak to my humble prayer. 
In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of light, refreshment, and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all joy and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. I was given this challenge here now. Here are going to try to do it again. Or now. Or now. And if down, a dollar the reef. And he has a hundred dollars. And it's her now. Or on there, who during you. With Master Beacon. The one is looking at him. Now, Link Shinny Gahu of Sir Shin on Ulk. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope from our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and union in accordance with your will, live it forever and ever men. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And may this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. And Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, and Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death, gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and every evil, keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. And be, <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof. I said, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
I leave you my thoughts, my laughter, my dreams. To you, who I have treasured beyond gold and precious gems. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work or play. Tasks left undone must stay that way. I found that place at the close of the day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy, a friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Ah yes, these things I too will miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow, I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full, I've savoured much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seems all too brief. Don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart and share with me. God wanted me now. He set me free. 
Remember me, and I'll remember you. It is with a heavy heart that I stand here today. In all the things that we've done together, I never thought I would be standing here to bid farewell to our beloved Declan, whose timely passing has left a huge void in all our lives. On behalf of his heartbroken wife, Mary, his treasured children, Jamie, Kieran, Shay and Sophie, his loving parents and sister, Teresa, Seamus and Kira, I would like to say a few words. Well, where do I start with young Declan? I suppose I may start at the beginning. Declan heard that I got a new Sega Mega Drive, and when I came home from school every evening, Mam would say the same thing with a smile on her face. Declan's already up in your room playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know how he managed to get there before me. And that's when our friendship blossomed. Declan was very fond of his sport. He loved nothing more than to play football for Ballinot GFC. Many the Kieran Well football medals we won together. Declan loved Ballinlot that much that eventually, after hanging up his boots, he took up a new role as mentor for the juvenile teams. He loved nothing more than watch his boys playing in the Ballinlot colours. I suppose I have to mention the night outs. Oh, the night out we had. The crack. He was my Batman and I was his Robin. We did it all together, every night filled with fun and laughter. Over the years, our circles of friends grew. With a huge circle of friends, it is a testament to Declan what a great friend he was to all of us. <clears throat> one night, Declan said to me, Trevor, I have found the one, it's Mary Choose. Over a pint, we discussed how the first date would go. A fancy restaurant by candlelight. But no, Declan did it his way. On his first date with Mary, he brought her for a drive in his big red tractor. <laughs> <clears throat> Declan didn't need fancy restaurants. He wooed Mary with his boyish good looks, his wit and his charm, and a cheeky smile that would light up any room. Many of us had the pleasure of traveling the world with Declan. We spent a year traveling from country to country. Eventually, we all came home, and it wasn't long before Declan got married to Mary, built their beautiful home, and had their four precious children. I know that house was filled with love and laughter. Some would say that Declan was a bright spark, and how fitting it was he turned out to be an electrician with a very successful business. I can safely say that there's not a light in the parish that he didn't turn on. Declan, you are amazing son, brother, husband, and father to four beautiful children. You're an amazing nephew, cousin, and most of all, an amazing friend to all. As you lit up so many lives on earth, so shall you do the same in heaven. Until I meet you again, Deck, my best friend, Rest in peace, amen. So the final prayer for the Mass now. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, Mercifully grant us, strengthened by it, our brother Declan may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. Let us pray for God's blessing. And may the God of all consolation bless you, for in his goodness he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, has given believers the hope of rising again. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. 
So may we live forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. May the blessed and mighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. And let us bless the Lord and thanks be to God. And before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell <coughs> express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. This congregation may disperse in sorrow, but the mercy of God will gather us together again and enjoy his kingdom. Therefore, <coughs> let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to bless the coffin. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. <coughs> Saints of God, come to his aid, come to meet him, angels of the Lord. <clears throat> God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive the soul of the God the Most High. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul, and God the Most High. Into your hands, <coughs> Father of mercies, we commend our brother Lecton in the sure and certain hope that together with all who died in Christ, he rises with him on the last day. We give you thanks <coughs> for the blessings you bestowed upon him in this life. There are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, <coughs> turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. Amen. And may saints and angels lead you on, escorting you where Christ has gone. Now he has called you, come to him who sits above the seraphim. Come to the peace of Abraham and the supper of the Lamb. Come to the joy of the blessed and to a perpetual light and rest. Amen. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord. May he rest in peace, amen. May his soul, so the for the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And people may wish just to sympathize and, and or just to file past the coffin, file past the coffin. Don't be laying and shake your hands or hug them. They would do that. Just the family have gone through a lot and just, we all just join in our sorrow and sympathy. And the priest would like to go down, Michael. Thank you, Father. Father Walsh and Father Patrick Kearney on celebrations of the Mass. The family would like to invite everyone here today to join them in the halfway house across the road after Dexon's burial for refreshments. The people that hasn't yet sympathised with the family we would ask if you could by the coffin in front of the church and out the other door. Please, we would like no handshaking at this time. Thank you.
And I find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be Let it be Yeah.